Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 202303, including Maven and general improvements. Improvements that have been added since the last release in December 2022, three months ago. Support for Java 20, which will be released a week after Eclipse, is not yet built in, but the preview can be installed via the Eclipse Marketplace, probably soon. Apart from the new bytecode view and improved Maven tooling, more about that shortly, 202303 is mainly a maintenance release, with a couple of smaller improvements and fixes. In the Java editor, code completion has been fixed. To propose types and names in record headers. To propose templates, also in Lambda expressions, inside of nested blocks. And to propose new as an array constructor reference. For Java code minings, which can be enabled in the preferences, Java, Editor, Code Minings, there is a new preference, Ignore Inexact Reference Matches, to ignore potential matches. A potential match is when the reference cannot be resolved, but the signature matches, for example due to a compile error, like here or due to missing transitive dependencies. In most cases, these are false positives, which is why the option to ignore them is enabled by default. But in cases when the code is broken, it might be helpful to disable ignore inexact reference matches. There is a new view for advanced Java developers, the bytecode view formerly known as the Bytecode Outline plugin by Andrei Loskutov, now built into the Eclipse Java IDE. You can use it to explore the bytecode of the class file that is opened in the editor, either the bytecode of a Java file compiled by Eclipse's own Java compiler, or the bytecode of an already compiled class file, on the Java build path for example. To get the documentation of a bytecode opcode, hover the opcode, or right-click it and choose Open Bytecode Reference. Let's use the Bytecode view to spot some differences between the Eclipse compiler and Javac. In the terminal, let's use Javac of Java 20. As expected, the class file version differs, since the project uses Java 17, while on the command line, we used the release candidate of Java 20. But there are more differences. In this case, the Eclipse compiler creates a slightly smaller class file and does an optimization that Java does not do. A string builder is used for the string concatenation in the loop for performance reasons. Apart from the bytecode view, there are more changes. When running the JUnit tests of a package, the tests of the sub-packages are now executed as well. The performance of the Java compiler has been improved for parameterized types. Compared to the previous version of Eclipse, the project with hundreds of parameterized types compiles much faster. For example, when doing project, clean, as you can see here. Maven tooling now provides a better out-of-the-box experience in more cases by eliminating the need of manual project configuration thanks to the following three improvements. First, when in the POM XML, if the property Maven test skip is set to true,
test Java and test resources are not treated as source folders anymore. When running a Maven build, Maven test skip does not only skip the tests, but in contrast to the property skip tests, does also not compile the tests. This means that even compile errors do not cause a Maven build to fail. Second, modules without a mapping are now by default automatically executed by the incremental project builder. Mojo stands for Maven Plane or Java Object, a simple Java class that can be easily used as a Maven plugin. This sample mojo generates the source code of a model class with a field for each line of a given text file. To be able to use it as a Maven plugin, run the Mojo project as Maven install. In the Maven project where you want to use the Mojo, add it in the build section as a plugin. You must specify the goal, otherwise it won't be executed. That's it. The model class has been generated. And will be updated from now on as soon as the text file is being changed. Maven with incremental building without having to configure a single Eclipse project setting. That's cool, isn't it? Last but not least, the Java used to run a Maven build is now derived from the POM instead of using the workspace default JRE. By setting the Java version in the POM to 11, the best matching Java JRE from those configured in the preferences, Java, installed JREs is used to run the Maven build. But here, this fails, because our Mojo Maven plugin is compiled with Java 17. In this case, a different Java version is required to run Maven than the one used in the project, which can be configured in the POM in the Maven Enforcer plugin. No need to manually select the JRE in the launch configuration. And by the way, the XML editor used in the POM editor, or when opening a file in the generic text editor, has been improved as well. In the preferences, XML Wild Web Developer, Formatting, there are many more settings now. Preserve new lines might be the one you've missed the most. to preserve empty lines in order to separate sections when formatting. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release March 2023. Thanks for watching and happy coding!